I'll see you. All right, YouTube, welcome. Thank you for being patient. Um, I appreciate you, and we are here. We're going to be live editing photos that people have submitted, uh, taken with the R6, the Canon R6. So I uh, appreciate you. Thank you for joining. And uh, let me just get my chat uh, window open so that I can find out uh, people chiming in the chat. That's right. One more time. Let's do that. Okay. All right. If you are watching, please leave me a, a comment. Let me know that you are seeing this and we will get uh, dived in uh, and we will start editing uh, photos taken with the Canon R6. That's today's theme. And so uh, I'm just going to jump over there to, to YouTube, make sure that the stream is working and we will kick it off, kick it off. All right. I'm going to go. Yep. There we are. There's four, four watching now. And I actually have to just need to mute my audio here. One second, please. All right, we're good. We're good. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining. Today, we're editing photos taken with a Canon R6. I appreciate you. Michael, thank you. Sound and picture just fine. I appreciate you. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know that you're able to hear, and we are going to kick it off. We're only going to go 30 minutes or so, uh, but first things first, what I want to do is show you um, some of the photos that we may look at. So here uh, we have um, the current application, which is it's Photoshop. All right, you should see my Photoshop window, um, and so this is a a s image I took that I stacked about 10 or 12 images of this cactus. And actually it's sitting right there behind me. Um, so if you can see that uh, the camera is, let me see if I can point that. You see that? Yeah, it's right over here. So this is the photo that I photo stacked uh, just a few minutes before. Um, oops, I was in manual focus and I just grabbed the camera. So we're gonna have, we have a little focus error uh, going there. That looks a little soft. Okay. <laughs> We're, uh, hey, Darlene says, Darlene, my wife joined in and uh, she says she could see it now. But right now, what we're going to do is go into Lightroom. And so I have a library here called Livestream Edit. And these are pictures people submitted last week. And um, we are also going to, um, we're going to take a look at these pictures. We're going to review very quickly. Here's one from Pablo, um, and then uh, out upright out in the um, out in the high desert, he submitted some. Carlos Ray, Braden Lampkin, who submitted one we didn't edit, so we're definitely going to edit the one he sent this week. Alex uh, Warren, sky photographer on Instagram, submitted these, and then um, Pablo, we didn't get to his, so we're definitely going to edit his first. We're going to edit his first. And we're also going to edit um, Brady and Lampkin set, uh, submitted those. So we're going to do those too. But here is um, one that we're going to definitely do. Let me switch the picture so you can see that. So it's kind of an EDC, a picture of a ring and some, it looks like some tools, maybe some hardware, a little bit of leather strap there. Um, and so you should be able to see the pictures now. And um, yeah, I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. Uh, you should be able to see the pictures now. And uh, so this is one we're going to edit. This was taken by Braden Lampkin. I believe he's in Australia. And uh, he was cool enough to su submit one last week. We didn't get to it. And then we're going we're gonna to get to his definitely. Uh, but first and foremost, this is one from Tony Mellinger. We are going to edit this one. Uh, I think he's out camping. I, I think he took this camping, like just maybe today. Uh, if we have time, we're going to edit this photo of Shrod, a headshot I took last night. Uh, this was submitted by, um, I just met him today, Soul Visuals Photography, I think is, is the full Instagram name. His name is Victor, submitted this. Um, I took this little food ph photograph, uh, my poke bowl for lunch. And so um, we are going to edit that. And uh, we are going to, we're going to get started. I think this is the, the last one. We haven't looked at this one. And so here it is. So this is from Buenos Dias Imagery and Pablo's a friend of mine and we didn't get to his uh, photo last week. So we're just gonna take a look at this. This is um, 
a photo taken near the beach. He wrote Bolsa Chica here. Bolsa Chica is a beach near us. He took this at 1 one sixtieth of a second, F2.8, ISO um, 200. And he has the RF 70 to 200, awesome lens, awesome combination. So I'm just gonna dive in and zoom in, just check kind of the focus. Uh, looks very sharp. I'm kind of wondering if he had animal eye autofocus uh, on here. I'm gonna go super, super, gosh, it looks very sharp. Very sharp. Looks like it's maybe focused just on the hair behind the eye, but the hair behind the eye. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to play a little bit of music. Let me know if it's too loud, and we're going to get start to editing. I feel like that music is very loud, so hold on a second. Let me, let me dive in and fix that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh. Actually, do you hear any music or is it just me? Is it just, is it just me in my head? <laughs> do, am I the only one here who hears music? Let me know in the chat. Uh, we have five people watching. So thank you for joining us on a Sunday and we are going to get started on this, on this image. Um, all right. So the first thing that I would typically do is I would probably, it's a little light on the right side. I'm going to take down the highlights and part of it, we're going to try to push uh, the R6 images and see what happens. Okay, I dipped the highlights and no, nothing at all. Barely, just brought the whites out of that that left side. Um, so I'm going to go to exposure. I'm going to bring it way down and make it look more moody. And maybe it was like taken around dusk. Uh, I'm going to cool the temperature off. Get a little blues in there. That's nice. It looks like an evening hair. Um, I'm actually going to drop this top portion. Uh, some more drop the shadows and uh, bring that exposure down a little bit. And then I'm going to add a radial uh, filter right around here, around the hair, and swing it so it's parallel to the body. And then I'm going to invert it, and I'm just going to bump up the shadows on that hair. Gosh, this exposure looks really, really clean, really good. There we go. And then I'm going to do a new one around the ears here just to get them to pop a little bit. Invert that. And then a little bit of exposure, a little bit of texture, I mean shadows. And then actually I'm going to boost the texture on both of these so that we get that, that fur fur nice and, and popping. Okay, so I kind of like it. I think I'm going to throw a little bit of uh, a vignette on it just to draw attention to the hair. And then I'm going to go to my, my tone curve. And let's see what we have here. I'm going to kind of flatten out the blacks. And bring them down here. See, now we're getting this kind of spotlight effect. Uh, really nice. And just punch up a little bit there. I like that. I think I want this uh, orange here. And give me suggestions in the chat. I appreciate you watching. Uh, let me know where you're watching from, actually. Um, if, you, if you would, let me know where you're watching from. Um, so if you are in the United States, tell me what state you're in. If you're out of the United States, tell me what country you're in. Soul Visuals, who contributed another animal photo that we're going to do. I believe he said he was in Canada, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so let me know in the chat where you're watching from. And then uh, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to mess with the hue. See what the, oh, there's just a little bit of orange. That's barely it. Uh, Denmark. Yeah. Bella Vista. Bella Vista, Arkansas. Gregory Foreman, thank you for joining. I appreciate you. My wife is from Arkansas. So, Darlene, if you're still on the, uh, you can chat it up with uh, with Gregory. She went, uh, she was at Pine Bluff uh, and then born in Little Rock. All right. So, I'm going to see what I can do with these greens. There's a lot of green in here. So, I think I'm going to warm it up, go towards the yellow. Yep. We go towards the yellow and then I'm going to bump up the saturation and the luminance on that yellow. So it's, it's a little more um, lively. There's a lot of brown in the photo. And so uh, by punching up the yellows and the greens, I uh, provide a little more contrast with the rabbit. <laughs> All right. Pablo said, shout out to Pine Bluff. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for joining in. Roy is hailing from the UK. Pablo Buenos Dias imagery. This is his photo. So people say, chat it up and tell Pablo you love his photo. And tell Pablo that you love him. He's a good guy. He's a friend of mine. He runs a channel called Buenos Dias Imagery. He's a source of a lot of inspiration for me. So make sure you go over and, and check it out over there uh, uh, on his channel for sure. 
And uh, all right, we're going to dive back in here to editing. I said I was only going to go 30 minutes, and I'm going to check my, my shot clock here. Uh, we're at 10 minutes. Okay, please give me a thumbs up on this. We're going to move over to another photo. Um, Pablo, this is a great photo. So I think the only thing I would do is probably, I probably would dip the exposure a little bit and then go down and just try to wreck it with the uh, overexposing the rabby, the little hair here. All right, get him a little more. And I think I'll hop in the ear here and just bump that up a little more. Just a little bit more dramatic going over the top. You can't break it. It's just a picture. All right, so let's see. See if we can go full screen on that and see what it looks like. Full screen. Oh, Pablo, that's such a great shot. I love it. That lens is absolutely amazing. The RF 70 to 200. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put up a grid of all the pictures that we have. And, um, oh, Pablo, it's his photo. It's his call. He said crop it a bit. And I'm going to say I really like the way the, the rabbit is uh, hedged in around these bushes. But if I did crop it, I would hit the X and go vertical, you know, for Instagram. And then that's a good suggestion. I really think it is. I really think it's a good suggestion to crop that. And I'm going to bring up the overall exposure now. All right. Very cool. All right. I'm going to put up a grid. Uh, and everyone, let's take a look at images. We have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 13 through 18. These here, I'm going to try to enlarge them a little bit. Um, yeah, hopefully you can actually see that on your screen. Um, John Cruz says it's buffering. Oh no, please, please come on Instagram. I mean, internet <laughs> Roy, uh, from the UK, Michael Lunday from Denmark, Gregory Foreman from Bella Vista. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you. We're going to go about another 20 minutes, uh, right now vote on number 13, uh, Number 14 by Tony Mellinger. Number 13 is by Braden Lampkin. 14 is by uh, Tony Mellinger. 15 is by yours truly. 16 is by um, Soul Visuals Photography on uh, Instagram. 17 is a shot I took at lunch. We did Pablo's. So I'm looking for numbers in the chat of where you would, uh, what you would like me to edit next. So I'm just going to, looks like there's a little bit of buffering. Hopefully nothing got jammed up there on the live stream. I'm looking for numbers, uh, numbers to edit next. All right. It says it's buffering. I don't know if I, my internet speed is suffering a little bit here, but I will have to, uh, 16 Pablo says, Pablo, you are the shot caller today. It is 16. We're going to go with 16 and, uh, I appreciate you, Pablo. Shout out that first photo uh, was Buenos Dias imagery, that hair shot. It was uh, Bolsa Chica hair. And Pablo, put in the chat, did you take that? You just got your R6 on Thursday, I think. So Pablo, let us know when you took that. Was it today <laughs> or was it yesterday? And we're going to dive into this photo by Soul Visuals uh, Photography. All right. So this was taken at 1 640th of a second, F2.8, ISO 200. And this is the 200 millimeters. It's the EF. So uh, uh, Victor used an adapter on this. Uh, cool. Pablo says he shot that this morning. And so let's switch back and see our photo from Victor. All right. I think last time we cropped late in the game, I think I might crop early in the game on this one. There's so much water and the ripples are beautiful, but I really just want to see that, uh, that duck. I'm going to hit the X key. Uh, yeah, I, I like it. I like it. I'm going to take down the highlights. That's something I usually do. Doesn't do a lot. Doesn't do a lot. I'm trying to get the blue in that bottom of the frame because uh, we got, it seems like it's reflecting the sky a little bit. I'm just going to trim that down on the exposure side, cool it off a little bit so we get a little bit more blue. Um, and then I'm actually going to, somebody taught me this uh, last week. You hit duplicate. And I'm going to drag it up here. And they said, oh, now I forgot the tip. Now, yes, you swing it all around. This was from Carlos Ray, is you duplicate a gradient filter, uh, gradient filter or gradient mask, and then you can move it and use the uh, arrows that appear right here, the two-headed arrows, to swing it and reverse it. So I'm actually just going to do the same exact filter on the top as uh, the bottom. 
All right, so now this is the before and this is the after, the before and the after. I like it's more, a uh, little more saturated with those blues. All right, but our birdie, our birdie has some beautiful feathers here, lots of shadows, uh, and we're gonna just pop onto the these feathers. We're gonna raise the shadows there. Nice, actually it looked like there were some shadows under the water, more. Let's go texture, let's use our texture tool. And uh, I'm actually going to jump in and see Gosh, okay. Wow. Got water on a duck's back. Look at the beautiful polka of the water. That is amazing. I mean, that is truly beautiful. All right, so let's continue editing that. I love the texture. We might just do something here, uh, a gradient, I mean, a radial filter right here on the face. Punch up the shadows a little bit. Oops, I have to invert it. Is that what I did wrong on the first one? Did I invert that? I did not invert it. Yep, there we go. That's what happened. That's why it looked like under the water uh, got brighter is because I actually hadn't inverted it so it was brightening outside. Um, so that's great. All right, I'm gonna go down here, little tone curve, uh, bring this down here, nice. And uh, I think that contrast on the duck's back is, is really nice. Uh, that's a beautiful shot. I actually might, just go back to this filter on the bottom and decrease that uh, exposure. It's a little too bright for my liking. I want that. Uh, I want that to go more into the the attention to go into the the duck. All right. So that's before, kind of bright, uh, and after. And you know what? I like. Uh, we're getting more yellows in the duck's back, and so I will just go down here to. I'm going to play with the luminance here. So see the luminous, all the yellow in the water? So I can actually reduce that and we don't lose too much uh, on the duck itself. The duck is mostly um, orange. So I'm gonna boost that and then we go to hue and I'm gonna bring that uh, hue, hue, uh, bring that little down and then saturation a little up so it get a little more color, more warmth on the duck. All right, that was a photo from Soul Visuals uh, Photography on Instagram. Go check him out. And, uh, oh, look at this photo. <laughs> look at this frame. I didn't even realize I had this camera on right here. Uh, but let's talk, take a minute and talk about the R6. So the R6 is here. I rented it for the weekend. Uh, a nice guy that I met through ShareGrid. Um, I used it on some videos that I shot um, with a, another photographer. He did kind of a blind blind date, a blind photo date, uh, Will Utley. Check him out. He's awesome. And I went and I did the video component and I used, uh, I used these. So um, Darlene, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Or were you talking about the live stream or the, or the, the duck picture? Uh, but I'll take the compliment uh, for the live stream and Victor will take it for the duck picture. All right, here's the R6, and all these photos were taken with the R6, um, and let's see. We have 13 people watching. I need you to right now. Give me a thumbs up, and then let me know. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know where you're watching from. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining in on a Sunday. We have been going for... Um, only about 18 minutes. We're going to do 12 more minutes. So the R6, uh, we are featuring photos taken with the R6 today, and we are going to keep the energy up. Right now, I'm going to ask you to vote. Let's vote it, vote it, vote it. And here we have the hair photo. So far, the hands-down winners uh, today have been the animal shots. The animals, the the rabbit, the hare from Bolsa Chica. The, um, shoot, I'm going to look up. Victor told me where he... Uh, told me where he took the picture from, uh, and I'm going to read it. It is Wasaga, not sure I'm saying that right, Wasaga Country Life Resort in Wasaga Beach, Ontario, Canada. All right, uh, and he actually asked me to join the live stream, um, and I did not reply. So hopefully he joined. So I'm just typing a message to Victor who submitted the duck picture. And let's vote. Uh, let, we could do um, image number 13, 14, 15, or we could do 17. So right here, the food photography, the spider web. Uh, uh, I just blinked. Sherrod, Sherrod, or the EDC photo. Uh, put the number in the chat. Gregory Foreman, the first to vote. Awesome. 
D watching from the UK. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited to have people uh, joining in. Uh, thank you very much. So what we're going to do now is we're going to vote. That's how we do is uh, just uh, read the numbers and I'm going to let you vote and decide which ones we edit. Gregory Foreman says 15. I'm going to look. That is the, the photo of Sherrod. Uh, the portrait, we have a food photo. Darlene says spiderweb. That's number 14 right now. It's spiderweb or charade. Um, let's see. Any other votes? Any tiebreakers? D, appreciate you. Gregory Foreman from Arkansas, appreciate you. Um, yeah, I think we are going to go with uh, Darlene says 14. <laughs> you voted twice. The spiderweb. Oh, D, the tiebreaker. She says the spiderweb. All right, Gregory, I feel bad. We are going to do. Paula says, do what your wife says. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Um, all right. Now, I just have to tell you, if you don't follow Tony Mellinger on Instagram, please go do it. Hey, coal and steel railroad videos. He says 14. I love it. I love it. People are chiming in. Uh, I appreciate that. And I appreciate the votes. Um, so we're going to go with this. Now, Tony is a great videographer. He does wedding photography. He works full-time doing uh, videography at a church in um, St. Louis, Missouri. And he's out camping this weekend. And I was like, hey, can you send me? I know you just got the R6. Can you send me an image? So he's like, it's not much, but here you go. Now, he says it's not much. And I'm like, this is beautiful. This is amazing. Look at the, Pablo calls them God rays. Look at the sunlight streaming down from the top of the frame. And, you, and look at the blue. Even in the bokeh through the trees, you get blue. This camera is amazing. Let's punch in and see the detail on the spider web. Uh, that's punched way in. There we go. And then uh, I think what we're going to do, these are some of my typical moves on a photo taken in bright sunlight landscape. Uh, I think I got this from a Peter McKinnon tutorial is bumping the shadows and then bringing down the highlights. Now we're going to get a little more of a uh, punchiness on the spider web. Uh, I think I'm going to bring the exposure down just a little bit. Yeah, so we get more of the light just on the spider web, it, spider web itself. I'm going to punch up the whites because in this photo, the whites are... Um, the subject and that's not always the case usually you have whites that are kind of uh, uh, somewhere in the um, somewhere in the ether <laughs> like the sky and it's really not the subject um, but we are gonna take a look at this I think what I'm gonna do is let's see what happens with the the clarity slider so clarity really brings up kind of it's almost a contrast and I really want just the clarity on the spider web itself so I'm going to do this uh, radial filter. I'm going to hit invert, and then I'm going to slide the clar uh, clarity up just in that area. Texture up just in that area. And I don't know. I really love the photo as it is. I probably will go down to the greens, and uh, I'm going to be very trendy, and I'm going to take the green hue towards a yellow just a little bit to warm it up. And then I'm going to take the luminance of the greens down. So this is a way you can control the brightness of the background, right? We have those nice green, the leaves, but they're distracting. They're pulling attention to their beauty, which is their right. Uh, but I'm going to take the luminance of the greens down so the spider web pops more. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on a gradient filter from the top, and I'm just going to cut those highlights a little, cut the exposure a little bit. Oh, too much, too much, too much. And there we have it. I think that's going to do it. I'm going to go full screen. Hopefully you see that full screen. That's a beautiful image right there. It's loading. It's loading. Gosh, I love that so much. Now, one of the things I love about it, and I'm just going to not do anything, just leave it, just point it out, is the golden sap that is coming out of the branches that the beams of light from the sun are just illuminating along this branch on the right and then the branch on the right with the, the, the spider webs actually attached to. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Hey, everybody. Uh, we have um, about six minutes left, and I just want to say hi to – I need my glasses. I'm so sorry – uh hi to malaga hi from malaga andalusia spain congratulations on your channel thank you so much um coal and steel railroad videos wants to know how is the dynamic range do you have a picture that has out of exposed sky to edit to see how well you can bring the sky back in uh i think the answer is yes coal and steel railroad videos i'm gonna i'm gonna look for that 
right now let's just pop back into our library are we done with the the spider webs is it good enough is it good enough i'm just gonna go full-on tacky and slam a vignette on there now what i think that's better that's a little more showcasing on the spider web everything else is still there i went tacky with the overdone uh, i'm gonna hit level doesn't do anything. Okay, we're done. All right, let's go back to the library and have somebody, somebody tell me a photo that we can edit this EDC photo. Actually, um, I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to choose this one because Braden Lampkin in Australia submitted last week. And uh, shout out to Braden. He's probably asleep right now, <laughs> and we're up editing photos. Uh, but he, he sent me one last week, and so he was kind enough. I saw that he had an R6, and I messaged him. I said, hey, can you send me an R6 photo? He did. I was so grateful. And so we're going to jump in and edit his photo here. And so the last one he sent was exactly like this. I think it was the same table. And he has this very thin, very thin uh, depth of field here. You see these nylon cords here are out of focus. Um, gosh, I could be cropped in so much more uh, because the photo really is about those rings. And I like the black case in the background. Looks like something maybe f hardware. I'm just going to kind of go down here and see. see. I just don't think you lose that much if we just punched in. I like that. I like that a lot. And I'm uh, going to um, bring the highlights down a little bit. I'm going to bring the blacks in. I'm going to bump up the shadows. The shadows, that doesn't really help me. I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, I'm going to bring down. Ooh. Okay, now see what happened. When I brought down the exposure, I lost all the detail in in the uh, the background of that black box. But the ring is much more moody to, to my liking. So what I'm going to do is just throw a uh, radial filter there and bring up the shadows a little bit so we can see a little bit of those words uh, so we can kind of tell what it is. Um, but I really like this and I, you know, I just feel like it needs a little bit more warmth. The table is warm. I'm just going to pull that up a little. It's probably overdone a little bit. Uh, suggestions in the chat, anything we can do to punch this up? I know we, we could brush, uh, let's just put a brush on here on the ring and then I'm actually going to bump up the texture and the clarity and then we get a little bit more shine, maybe a little bit exposure too. Uh, and then I'm going to do a new one, and I'm going to do that very, very subtly, subtly right here. Um, everybody, why don't you tell me in the chat right now? Uh, let's take a little station identification break. Uh, tell me in the chat what the weather is like today. I'm going to tell you what the weather was like today where I was, and we're going to go to this camera here. Um, here we go. It's 107 here. It's 106. Can you see that? It's 106 degrees here in Irvine, California, Orange County. And wow, Woo, put your weather in the chat. Let me feel something other than what I felt when I went outside today. My wife and I were out getting lunch and it was like, wow, it really sapped you. Caliente, Pablo says. All right, so we're back on the edit here. And this is a great photo. Braden Lampkin submitted this. I appreciate him. I think I want to do something. Now, I always kind of say color is not my forte. Um, I, I'm going to bump these up, kind of flatten out the blacks a little bit, make it a little more matte, and bring that up. Now, I happen to know there's a lot of orange in here, and there's a lot of red as well. So if I just took these uh, sliders and I just took everything out, uh, okay, there's some blue. Did you see that? When I when I do the reflection, the luminance, there's some blue. So I'm going to play with that, and I'm going to go go after the aqua, the very trendy aqua um, type of look. So right now, I'm going to get back to um, <laughs> Darlene. Darlene, watch your language. <laughs> My wife's in the chat. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay. So I'm going to go after the blue and turn it to a little bit of aqua. So you see there on the ring, I'm going to punch in so you can see that. I'm just getting a little bit of an overtone because I saw when I moved the luminance slider back and forth, I saw it was affecting that ring and I knew I could get a lot of aqua. Not that much aqua, just a little. Just so we can get a, a little bit of the trend skis going. And then I'm going to move that saturation up, get a little bit darker, and then move the luminance actually up a little bit actually down 
too bad. It looks like we lost a little highlight right there. I wonder if, if there's anything we could do about that. I think we can't. I think there's nothing we can do. Sadly, that area is just is gone. All right, so we're going to zoom out, and let's see how this looks. Um, it's pretty good. This is the original photo. Uh, is that the original? I just did a back. Now I can't tell which one. Oh, this is before, and this is after. So I actually made it less moody. That's interesting. Me, I like the before photo. <laughs> That's so interesting. All right, so I made a, I edited a photo I didn't like. So you know that happens sometimes. So you know, live and learn. Sometimes you make your adjustments and you go, you know what? I liked it better the other way. So actually, I like it better the other way. So this is the before. This is the after. I think I could get to like it if I just drop the exposure a little bit. Oh, you know what? I'm on a radio filter here. So let me just do before and after, before, after. I'm going to just take that down even a little bit more. Ooh, I like that that light. It's almost like it's coming from a window or a skylight. I'm going to invert that, and then I'm going to bump up the shadows uh, a little bit, the exposure a little bit. All right. We are done. That's beautiful. Um, that was a great photo taken by Braden Lampkin. And so we're going to dive back into our um, our library. We have people watching, 11 people watching. Give me a thumbs up right now if you would. We're going to finish it off here. Um, I appreciate you. We are just focusing on um, – actually, somebody asked if I had a um, 84 and sunny ooh, in Arkansas. Gosh, Gregor, that sounds amazing. Uh, somebody asked about an overblown image. I have an overblown image. It's not sunlight, but it was a picture I took of Sherrod where the strobe went off way, uh, way too powerfully. And I'll show you that one. So um, we'll finish it off with these portraits of Sherrod. And uh, let's dive into this. So we have right here, let's go, Germ, Germ HD. We have somebody giving a thumbs up in the chat. Let us know where you're watching from. Germ HD, I appreciate all of you. We're editing photos taken with the R6. Now, uh, this weekend I rented the R6. I met Sherrod. He was on a blind photo date that a friend of mine was setting up, a photographer here in California. And so uh, Will Utley, you can check him out on um, – you can check him out. Uh-oh, it looks like our battery on this uh, Canon EOS R is going to die. So we'll make this really quick. <laughs> uh, uh, Vic Placido. Hey, everybody. Vic Placido is in the house. Uh, Victor, we edited his duck photo. Uh, I, and if you're just joining Victor, here's what we did with the image. I hope that you aren't offended. Thank you for joining. Everybody go follow Soul Visuals Photography. He took this at... Gosh, uh, Wasaga, I want to say Wasaga, Wasaga Country Life Resort in Wasaga Beach, Ontario, Canada. So, Victor, thank you for joining us, and I appreciate you uh, joining the live stream. We're going to recap. Pablo took this great shot of the hair. Uh, this was the RF70-200. to Victor's was the EF70-200. to Those were our first two images. And then we edited Tony Mellinger's uh, spider web photo that I just think is gorgeous. Look him up on Instagram. Then we edited braided length. Lampkin's kind of EDC jewelry type of photo. Uh, I love that one. And now we're at Sherrod's. Now, Sherrod, I love the background is um, plain. It should be brilliant white. That's what I really want. I love the shadow on the side of the face. So I'm just going to look at this portrait very quickly and do some basic adjustments and just see. Okay, if I crank the, the exposure, if I just move the exposure up, he looks okay. The background looks white. If I uh, move it down, it's obviously a little bit underexposed, so I could just move it up and no one will get mad. Um, his blue shirt looks great. I think all I'm going to do, and if you know a better way, I'm all ears, but all I'm going to do is paint this uh, background here a little bit. I'm going to mark it up. I'm going to paint right around his, his ear, and I am going to – I'm just touching everywhere. Uh, I'm going to hit O, actually. It hit O, and you can see the overlay of where you've – uh, painted. So I'm just going to paint the background all around and then hit O again. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the whites. And now we're getting that nice studio background. I lost the depth a little bit. I noticed it looked a little fake. So actually I'm just going to roll it down a little bit. I actually do like that the shadow fall off on the side of his face matches the shadow fall off on the wall. Uh, so, so that's good. 
All right, I do think uh, we could actually brush in maybe a little bit of detail in the beard. He's got a great uh, beard, great big personality to this guy. <laughs> he's he's a lot of fun. So I'm going to bring up the shadows in the beard. Unfortunately, that brings out um, a little bit of white and gray. So I'm going to bring up the shadows, but I'm going to drop the blacks a little bit to compensate. And I'm going to go up here and do the same thing. Bring out a little texture and a little shadows in the hair. But then I'm just going to reduce the blacks a little bit and... You know, he looks great, and he, he was a lot of fun, and uh, this was a photo, a blind photo date. Two people meet each other for, for the first time, and it's for a photo session. So it was a cool idea that I got to be a part of. I did the film for it. Actually, the film, everybody, y'all, was uh, done on, uh, the film was done on the R6. So I'm just going to bring up. We did one Friday night. I'm not going to play these, but um, we did one Friday night. This was all shot on the R6. And uh, it seems like I have, let me close this one with Joan Fuller. I don't need two windows. Are you all seeing two windows? I see two windows. Oh, shoot. Let me just close that and see if I can uh, get rid of that. I kind of wanted to show a little bit of what the uh, the R6 could do in terms of video. All right, I'm having technical difficulties. Just trust me, uh, it was amazing. Actually, it was an amazing experience using the R6 uh, for video. Um, you know, this could easily be uh, hit the crop tool, hit the X, and go into kind of a headshot mode here. We lose a little bit of his shoulders and do something like that. I could bring it down so it's right there on the uh, on the eye line. That's not bad. That's not a bad shot. It's mine, so I'm, I'm not offended what I did with it. Um, so Jeff Gothard is in the house. Jeff, glad that you are um, joining us. Now Jeff says, "Glad, uh, thank thank goodness you don't have a reflection in the glasses." Well, we did in a lot of other shots I didn't pick. But, yeah, I kept telling him, hey, uh, just bring your chin down. Just bring your chin down. So a little trick is if the model focuses their their chin down, then uh, you don't get the reflection off the soft boxes. All right, everybody, I think that's it. I think we hit everything. Oh, Pablo said he was going to uh, send me a photo with overexposed sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave you – uh, looking at my face while I dive into my uh, my emails. So Pablo sent me a photo to edit on the fly uh, that would have an overexposed sky. So I'm going to refresh my email. There is Pablo with the shot, overexposed sky. This was a special request. And drop in the chat if you asked for this, uh, this uh, particular photo. Somebody says, hey, can you show how it brings back the the sky? And so... We are taking special requests, apparently, right now. And I'm going to hit import. Oh, that's nice, a, a connection. So I used to work with Jeff Gothard in the chat. He, uh, he and I used to work for the same school district. He's uh, since retired and enjoying an amazing life. So we're glad for that. All right, Pablo has given me a picture to edit. And we are going to be back. Uh, Hazar Cage, just one question for those who know, EOR... E-S, oh my goodness, he asks EOS R 1080p 60 frames per second versus EOS R 6 1080p 60 frames per second. So, Hazar, I, I would just tell you, you have 10-bit, 10 10-bit 10 files internally. That's what I was filming with this weekend, um, and it absolutely... It's better. It's better than the EOS R. I'm just going to say that. I won't uh, mess with the EOS R because that's the camera I own. I only rented this one. But uh, Hazar, it is absolutely phenomenal. Those 10 bit files are better than the EOS R, even though I love the R. Okay, this picture is from Pablo. It is the Bolsa, uh, Bolsa Chica Sky. So um, the question was somebody asked a long time ago, drop in the chat if that was you. Hopefully, you're still here. What happens when you have kind of a blown out sky? Um, Hazar, thank you. Hazar, if you would just drop in the chat where you're watching from. Yes, it is IPB, but I have to. I have to believe. Uh, let's go to this camera over here. It's dying on its last battery. I have to believe that they're going to do a firmware update. They're going to do a firmware update, and then we will have, um, we have all I, 60 frames per second. I believe that. I believe that. He's watching from Turkey, everybody. I love it. 
Uh, I love the people that have joined in from all over the world, Canada, the UK, Turkey, Arkansas, which is like another world unto itself, uh, as well as California, as we know that for sure. All right, here it is. The last thing we're going to end with this. I'm going to dip the exposure down. Now, I just didn't, I didn't do anything requiring any sort of education in, uh, in Lightroom. I just reduced exposure. And I'll say it's fixed. And let's just bump it in right here. And there you have all the way to the horizon. Oh, my gosh. Look at these, these palm trees. Look at the resolution on that. That's an amazing photo. This is an eight-second uh, photo taken by Pablo. So all I did was touch the exposure. And actually, I'm just going to go down. I'm going to hit the auto level tool. And uh, right here, it's going to fix the horizon for us. And that's it. Is that Venus? Pablo, if you knew, is Venus up there? Are you taking astrophotography? Um, that's it. Uh, I uh, Coal and Steel Railroad videos. Um, hey, it was you. So I appreciate you. Yeah, that was, uh, let's just go back. So this is before. Eight seconds, a little overexposed, f2.8, wide open, ISO 200, and then that's just just the exposure tool. Now let's say I was just a little bit, just I just wanted to push the envelope and I draw a radial a gradient filter, a gradient mask here, and I bump up the details in the bottom in the shadow. What if I could just bring back the water a little bit? It kind of works. It gets a little bit, so we we eliminate that um, we eliminate that uh, that total um, lack of color in the bottom. I'm just going to bump up the exposure. Uh, it doesn't totally work, but it's uh, I don't like that. I messed it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna take those adjustments off. I mean, actually that that's not that bad. I don't know. It's a beautiful shot, Pablo, and a beautiful day. And that's going to be it for us, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I appreciate you. If you would, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I don't know how you ended up uh, there today, here today. But leave me a comment. Tell me where you're watching from if you haven't. I appreciate you. This was uh, all photos submitted in, submitted in, uh, from the R6. People use the R6. They sent me their photos. We edited them together. You chose the photos. Uh, somebody actually gave me uh, feedback, and they said, I like that you let people choose the photos, so that's something we're going to continue to do. Join us next Sunday uh, when we do some live stream editing, and uh, hopefully I want to set up a, a tethered product photography shot and kind of go through that live, but I really appreciate you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, our EOSR over here has passed away. The battery is gone. Bye-bye, and uh, we are... We are, let's see if I have this last, hey, everybody, thank you for joining. That's it. Bye.